The first day of spring is just days away, but up at Bear Lake, it looks like we're in the middle of winter with the lake being completely frozen over. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Gardner spoke to a biologist to learn more about why this natural event may be occurring less frequently. The sound of migrating geese usually means that spring is here, but not quite yet at Bear Lake. The lake is frozen over about 67% of the time. Biologist Scott Tolentino says it's the first time the lake has frozen over in the last five years, and that percentage is spread out over the last 100 years. But if you look at it just in the last 30 years, that's only about 50% of the time. And if you cut it down to 10 years, it's only about 30% of the time. So. As time went on, the lake is less likely to freeze over. The lake froze over in February, and Bear Lake Park Rangers say the ice is thicker than it's been in years. Currently across the lake, the ice is anywhere between 15 and 17 inches thick. That's a lot of ice, and officials tell me with all of that ice, it will be anywhere between April and May before it's all melted. Why is this happening less frequently? The obvious is climate change. That's probably the only thing we really have to go on right now. Tolentino says the lake also needs perfect conditions to freeze over. Then you have this big basin of really deep water. And if you get any kind of wind, it stirs that water up enough that it's bringing up the warm water from the bottom of the lake up towards the surface and then it doesn't allow it to freeze. Tolentino says that means Bear Lake doesn't necessarily freeze over faster during times of drought when there is less water. And that typically uh, is true for any other water body but Bear Lake. In Garden City, Kate Garner, ABC4 News. Oh, Bear Lake, you've got to love it. It's so weird to think that that will be full of people water skiing in just a couple of months. <sighs>